please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, individual, for liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Good morning, Good morning warriors. warriors. I'm Drake. And I'm Dylan. Today is Friday, November 11th. We will be having corn dogs for lunch today. Lots of fun activities took place last week for career week. Elementary students got to learn about firefighting and got to check out a fire truck. Thank you to Nick Martin, Brianna Martin, and John Hicks with the Sequoia County RFD1. The elementary students also got to visit with some local law, law enforcement officers. Thanks to Mike James, Wayne Cartwright, and Curtin Elkins from the Webers Falls Police Department, and to Mike Mullins with K-9 Lobo from the Warner Police Department. The students also got to learn from some of the officers from the Muskogee County Sheriff's Department. Shout out to Deputy Scotty Goodman, Sergeant Jordan Turley, Investigator Kyle Turley, Deputy Darren Watkins, Sergeant Nick Orman, and Deputy Brian Reyes. Rain Turley took his dad, Kyle Turley, and his uncle, Jordan Turley's place behind the wheel during this visit. The elementary was also visited by Oltmogi Mailman, Tim Bean, as he talked to the students about everything his job entails. Sixth grade students got a special presentation from Candace, Clayton, Tiffany, and Julie with Neighbors Building Neighborhoods. They got to learn about positive coping skills and aspects of healthy, of healthy living. The elementary students were not the only ones learning about careers last week. The class of 2023 filled out applications to colleges and career techs of their choice for college application week. Recruiters spoke with them about, about scholarships and programs that are offered at their institution. Sixth through 12th grade students interested in playing chess, don't forget the chess club meets every Tuesday from 3.30 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. The November reading challenge from the library is well on its way. Make sure you're getting those books read, AR, AR test passed, and turkey feathers covered. Pre-K class got to go to the park in Gore last week. Thank you to parent Kristen Chitty for, for bringing some furry friends for the students to pet. The FCA will be taking a group of students to the Winter Jam on February 19th. If you are interested in attending, you can sign up with Ms. Johnson. There will be a Veterans Day program today starting at 12 p.m. We are excited to attend this great program honoring all those that have served. Today is National Veterans Day. We will be honoring veterans during the program today. Celebrate today by showing these veterans respect during the program. Thank them before and after the program. At the 11th hour on the 11th day of the 11th month, on 1918, the armistice with Germany took effect. This brought the end of World War I. The U.S. originally celebrated this day as Armistice Day, but it evolved into Veterans Day in 1954. That's all we have for today. Now let's hear from Brendan. Hi, I'm Brendan, and here's a look at your weather. Today's high will be 53 degrees. We, will, we have had some pretty good temperatures this week, but a cold front has moved in. Maybe the cooler weather is here to stay. That's it for weather. Now let's hear from Taya. My name is Taya, and here are some things that have been going on at school recently. The high school football team will travel to Kyoto tonight for round one of the playoffs. Good luck, Warriors. The third and fourth grade basketball teams played here on Monday night in Whitefield last night. We will get the results of those games in next week's broadcast. The seventh and eighth grade basketball teams also traveled to Whitefield last night. We will get those results to you next week as well. The academic team played their final regular season matches on Monday. Those results will be shared next week. The high school esports team competed this past Saturday. They were undefeated on the day. Lonnie remains undefeated in WWE. The COD and Fortnite teams have only lost a couple of matches this season. We should find out this week who will qualify for playoffs. Great job, Warriors. The middle school esports team will compete tomorrow as they look to add more wins to their record. We will report those results in next week's broadcast. The middle school and high school Super Smash Bros. team traveled to NEO yesterday. We didn't have those results before recording, but we are sure you all did great. That's it for sports. Now let's hear from Lexi. My name's Lexi. This week's Warrior of the Week goes to Mrs. Whelan's second grade class. Last week, they picked up trash that was piling up between school and, school and the cafeteria. Thanks for helping keep the school clean. That's all we have for today. To our men and women in uniform, past, present, and future, thank you.